So, ladies and gentlemen, I and Space is delighted to announce that uh, TIBA-1 and Inmarsat JX-5 have been separated as planned on the targeted geostationary transfer orbits. Success tests even better when a little of patience was needed. It was the case for tonight. So tonight is a very special launch for many reasons. We are now celebrating with this launch the 250th launch from the Ariane family. You know that the journey has started for Christmas 1979, 24 December, with Ariane first, and we are now almost 40 years later. What a journey we have done together. We are really proud that this launch, which is really special for all the Ariane family, has been delivered for loyal partners and customers. I would like, regarding TIBA-1, first to thank deeply uh, Egypt, our partner for, and customer for this launch. This satellite is the fourth satellite Ariane Space orbits for an Egyptian actor, after three for NISAT. But it is the first we orbit for government of Egypt. We have with us here in the Jupiter uh, room, very high level representative from Egypt, and we are very proud to welcome them and to have uh, them with us tonight. For TIBA-1, I want also to thank uh, our satellite partners for this launch, Airbus and Thales Alenia Space. Airbus is uh, our direct customer for this launch. We have a long lasting partnership with Airbus and Thales Alenia Space, and we are very happy to have the opportunity to celebrate it for this launch. I want also to thank our second customer and passenger for this launch, Inmarsat. We have within Marsat a long story. The first in Marsat have been uh, orbited uh, in 1981, and it is the tenth satellite we orbit tonight for in Marsat. So it is also a birthday for us. I'm sure that Rupert Pierce is uh, watching us. I want to thank him for his trust. And one more time, we have delivered successfully for in Marsat. Regarding JX5, the satellite uh, manufacturer is uh, Thales Alenia Space. And I have said how our partnership matters for us. So 250 uh, launches of Ariane. This success, for sure, is uh, the success of Ariane space teams. And I want to thank them for their commitment. And they have shown these last days how they are committed to Ariane. But for sure, it is a success of a family. This family is made of many players. We have, for sure, to celebrate and to thank ESA and all the member states of the Ariane program whose support is essential. You know that tomorrow we will have the start of an ESA ministerial conference gathering all the ministers of space and how beautiful it is to enter in this conference with one more success from Ariane. So thanks, ESA. I want to thank CNES. CNES is Ariane 5 Design Authority. CNES is our daily partner in CSG. We welcome tonight uh, the new director of CSG, Marianne Claire, and uh, definitely what we have done since so many years, we have done it with CNES. I want to thank Ariane Group. Ariane Group is the prime contractor of Ariane 5. Ariane Group is the main shareholder of Ariane Space. We know that all the engineers of Ariane Group and all the suppliers were uh, mobilized for this success. So thanks to Ariane Group. I want for sure as well to thank our contractors here in French Guiana. They have shown also for this launch that they were able to work without counting their hours. So once again, celebrate this wonderful success. Thank you very much to all our customers. And now I would like to welcome on stage our customers and partners. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. A fantastic moment. And to be honest, for me, it was the first time here in Kourou. Uh, so a spectacular and breathtaking moment. So first of all, thanks a lot to Ariane Espace and their partners, Knes and Isa, for again another success. Uh, it's amazing to, to see the reliability of this launcher. And as you say, uh, Stefan, the cooperation and the uh, 
the work between Airbus and Ariane Spears has been a, a long-lasting story. And I am more than happy today that, to see that this cooperation is serving the space ambition of Egypt. I would like also to warmly thank our customer, the government of Egypt. Thank him for the trust he has put in our consortium, Airbus and Thales and Space, to build their very first governmental satellite. It has been an honor to work with you. I would like also to congratulate your team that has been following this program side by side with our teams during three years, hard work, professionalism, and expertise. So congratulations for that. I would like also to take the opportunity to thank the French government, represented by the DGA tonight in this room, for supporting this cooperation for space between our two governments. Dear customer, tonight you have in orbit a satellite which is a state of the art for broadband and secured communication. And I think you can be extremely proud for that, with all the people of Egypt to be tonight part of the space nations of having such an asset. Tibawan is based on the Eurostar 3000 platform. I think tonight it was the number 51 of this platform that has been orbited. And I will say that tonight we can say that with Eurostar and Ariane 5, we have, we have probably the most reliable couple for making telecommunication in space. So the story is not over. After this launch, we will be still working together for the operational deployment of the satellite. And we'll be at your side again during all the lifetime of the satellite. And for sure, should our cooperation should last, we'll be more than happy to be at your side in the coming years. Last but not the least, uh, I would like to thank the teams of Airbus, wherever they are in Europe, in the UK, in France, or in Germany. I would like to thank them for their dedication, their hard work to make such a success. And for them, again, the story is not over. They have taken the control of the satellites from our control center in Toulouse. And I can be, and I'm very happy to tell you that we are receiving the telemetry and everything is okay. So it's on its way. Uh, those people are going to work during the coming weeks with a lot of uh, dedication. So as a conclusion, I would like to say that uh, with all the partners, all the people that are in this room that have worked on this program, more than ever, we can say that teamwork is the motto of our space industry. And now, if you allow me, I will try a few words in Arabic. Hayat Tawila lil kamar Warid. Long life to Tibawan. Thank you and enjoy it. So good evening to everyone. So uh, it's also an event for me uh, because it's, it was my first launch, uh, more so after having joined Thales Alenia Space about uh, just six months ago. So many thanks to Ariane Espas uh, for this wonderful launch. It started with uh, some adventures to test, I think, the solidity of our nerves, uh, but it ended very well. Kullu uh, bikhair, as we say in Arabic. Uh, we have now two important uh, satellites uh, in space and uh, Thales and Elnia Space, uh, we feel really proud because we were involved actually in uh, both of them. Uh, it's not often that uh, two of our uh, satellites uh, travel together on the same rocket, uh, but it happened today for the third time uh, aboard Ariane 5. Uh, it was a particularly exciting launch for Thales Alenia Space in that regard. So first, I would like to very warmly thank the delegation uh, of the government of Egypt for their confidence uh, and trust in us uh, and our partner uh, Airbus uh, for the quality of our cooperation. Uh, at Thales Alenia Space, we will put the same energy into developing further um, your current system as well as uh, developing new ones to help enhance uh, Egypt's uh, influence. I also want to thank the French authorities uh, and, uh, for their support in realizing this contract, and in particular the French uh, DGA. Second, I would like to thank everybody at Inmarsat, um, and in particular uh, Rapid Pierce, for placing uh, your trust uh, in such an important program, uh, for Inmarsat and Peter Hadinger and his teams, uh, for the excellent team spirit that was the key to this success. Third, a big thank to all uh, of the teams, and in particular the women and men uh, at Thales Alenia Space, uh, who have demonstrated their commitment, enthusiasm, and professionalism. We have the deep, deepest respect for each and every one of you. I hope you feel very proud of yourselves. 
well done to all uh, uh, for this superb achievement. Right now, the next steps uh, are to get the uh, satellites to their final orbit and validate uh, the space segment. Uh, the team have already begun uh, to work on this. Uh, we have already the telemetry for uh, TIBA-1. I'm expecting the telemetry for Inmasat. I think it should not long, last very long now. So these might be two very different satellites, uh, but they have something in common. Uh, most importantly, the excellent quality of the teams. Both spacecrafts are outstanding projects. Uh, and behind outstanding projects, we find remarkable uh, people. One of the greatest pleasure in our business uh, is the deep relationship we build with our customers over the years. Uh, in a happy coincidence, the World uh, Conference of Radio Communication took place in Egypt this month uh, and just ended, actually last Friday, just a few days uh, before Egypt got its new satellite. So an important moment for all our Egyptian uh, friends. So we wish all the best to Tiba One. Uh, allow me to say in Arabic, Alf Mabruk, uh, to our Egyptian friends. Uh, we wish also in Mahsat uh, and its customers the very best for GX5. Good luck to everyone involved in the next phase of operation over the coming hours and days. Congratulations to all. Merci. Shokran. Thank you. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on behalf of all of Imarsat, Im I want to thank everyone who's been involved in making this launch a success. Um, I can confirm we do have telemetry from GX5, so we're good news there. Um, th this, uh, this spaceport is so important, and it's been great to spend some time here, and I want to thank in particular Kness and ESA for maintaining and operating this site. So when Imarsat selects a, a launch service provider, what we look for, number one, is reliability. And, Air and Ariane's Pass here are second to none in that criteria. So as Stefan says, launch 10 satellites for Imarsat, and that represents the trust that we have in Ariane's Pass. And I want to pay tribute to the teams in, that we've been working with. It's been a great privilege to work with the teams over the last uh, 10 days or so, and to see it in action the this, this skills, the professionalism, and I know we'll be back. So the GX5 spacecraft is a very important one for Imarsat. It's going to deliver a huge amount of uh, new capacity into our global network, particularly over the Middle East and over Europe for our aviation and maritime customers. And we entrusted TALIS to be able to build this spacecraft, and I'm delighted to say they delivered on their promises. Likewise, working with the teams over the last, in TALIS over the last couple of years has been a real privilege. When, when problems come along, as all programs do, they're addressed in a very collaborative, in a great spirit, and they're, they're addressed speedily and to resolution. And it's a great credit to the professionalism and the skills of the TALIS team, so thank you ever so much. And likewise, I know we'll be working again in the future. So the satellite launch is a momentous event, but a satellite launch by itself doesn't make, everything, doesn't make the whole network work. And I want to pay tribute in particular to the uh, 2,000 people in Mossat and their families who, who support them to actually can make this into a proper business. People who are doing the ground segment side, designing networks, designing terminals, operations, but also people who are in supporting all the functions. I'm thinking about IT, HR, finance. Without all those 2,000 people, we wouldn't have a successful business. So I want to say thank you to them, all their hard work and dedication, because this only happens because of, because of them. So as I say, we have telemetry from GX5 now. The focus now moves to the south of France, to the Thales Control Center, where they'll spend the next 10 days positioning the satellite into the correct orbit and performing the deployments. And that will be followed by testing of both the spacecraft and the network. And then it will enter into operations to be part of Imarsat's Global Express Network. And we hope that we welcome it as, its for, as the 14th member uh, of our satellite fleet. Uh, so thank you ever so much. And finally, I just want to wish the best of luck to our uh, Government of Egypt colleagues uh, a very successful mission, 
and I hope, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and I best of luck for the future. Thank you very much. The year is not uh, totally over in uh, CSG, so we will be back on December the 17th. It will be uh, with a Soyuz vehicle, and it will be uh, as well a very important mission. We will have uh, Cosmos SkyMed uh, second generation for uh, ASI and uh, Thales Alenia Space so for Italy. We will have a scientific mission for ESA with uh, KEOPS, and we will have uh, three uh, auxiliary payloads with ANGELS, ISAT, and OPSAT. So thank you very much for this wonderful evening, and see you back December 17th. Thank you.